The Texas legislature is getting ready to send a new bill to the governor that would help fund some virtual education in Texas. But a local school district actually says that it's a band-aid at best. And while some parents might want a virtual learning option for their student, there's a good chance it actually won't happen. Six News reporter Andrew Moore is here to explain why. Andrew? The state's analysis of Senate Bill 15 says it's supposed to provide attendance funding, funding for virtual learning. So does that mean your kid can learn remotely now? Well, probably not because the bill comes with some significant caveats. To ISD Superintendent Bobby Ott says Senate Bill 15 does not actually provide any additional funding to support virtual learning. It simply allows school districts to use the funding they already have for students in in-person learning to teach a small percentage of kids remotely. According to the bill, school districts can only teach up to 10% of their students remotely while still getting funding for those students. School districts must have at least a C performance rating or higher to do so, and the same teacher can't teach both in class and remotely at the same time. Ott said Temple ISD does not plan to use the option because it would just lead to uncertainty for families. Well, this won't be parental choice. Um, you know, if there's a 10% cap, then that requires a school district to establish some type of waiting list or lottery, you could have students on the outside of that line that could argue that they should be on the inside of that line. Ott said Temple ISD could use a short term remote learning option called remote conferencing instead, or just have teachers communicate with students when they have to stay at home. Other school districts that plan to offer partial remote learning on their own dollar could get some help from this. However, of course, the bill hasn't actually been signed by the governor, so there is an opportunity for parents to tell the governor's office if they believe that there should be some changes to this bill. Leslie. All right. Thanks, Andrew.